very good evening to Tokyo and very good morning to Glasgow. I would like to extend my deepest appreciation to those who participate in this event. My name is Naoko Ishii, Director of Center for Global Commons and the Executive Vice President at the University of Tokyo. It is my great honor and indeed real excitement to host this official launch of the Energy Transition Initiative Center for Global Commons or ETI CGC here at Glasgow. On the occasion of COP26, which is considered to be the most important COP since Paris COP in 2015. For the past several days here at COP26, countries from North and South, business, CSOs, and academia have put their heads together to find a way for humanity to address the immense challenge of climate change. While lively discussions are very much ongoing, three things, in my view, stand out from this chaotic gathering. One, there remains huge emission gap to be closed if humanity is to have a bright future. This scientific fact is now widely and firmly shared as a backbone for our common agenda to keep 1.5 degree commitment alive, which is considered to be a hardwired, non-negotiable goal. Two, a large number of initiatives by multi-stakeholder coalitions have been announced, for example, stopping deforestation, aligning finance with Paris Agreement, cleaning supply chain, and to form a coalition for fast movers to create a market for innovation. They demonstrate their commitment and leadership to accelerate actions. At the same time, a hard question is already being asked to what extent those commitments to, to be translated into actions with impacts. Third, one common inquiry has surfaced, that is, if we are all know, if we all know for sure what kind of pathway to be envisaged for each country or sector and how credible transitions or roadmap to be designed in partnership between private and public. This quest for the pathway is the driving force leading to the path of ETI citizenship. We were willing to embark the same with shipmates, I mean leaders with common ambition to explore the optimal pathway which serves not only Japan but also the world. Through this process, we want to make best use of knowledge, expertise and insight in Japan and abroad. That is why we solicit great source of valuable inputs to our endeavor. Now, I have an honor to read out a statement signed by engagement partners upon the launch uh, of the ETI CGC. Quote, we the Japanese companies joining here today and the Center for Global Commons at the University of Tokyo launched ETI CGC Energy Transition Initiative Center for Global Commons, an initiative to discuss the Japan's energy transition. Located within the University of Tokyo, the CGC was established to study the stewardship of the global commons, that is, a stable art system that needs to be collaboratively protected as a common foundation of the human society and will serve as its Secretariat. We have decided to drive the ETI CCC forward under the following five principles. One, we will safeguard the sustainability of our environment, the global commons. To this end, we will chart pathway to reduce Japan's greenhouse gas emission to net zero by 2050. Capitalizing two capitalizing on findings and scientific insights across the world and in Japan, we will study pathways compatible with local circumstances 
in order to achieve carbon neutrality, quiet, safeguarding, well-being, and wealth. With these pathways, we aim to become an international model case for countries with unique local circumstances and subsequently make contributions to the carbon neutrality of the entire world. We will consider the implementation of the pathways an opportunity to transform Japan's industrial structure and the economic and social system as well as our behavioral pattern towards the future. We will also discuss how we can take advantage of this opportunity. Fifth, we will make policy proposal and take a leadership role in stimulating discussions on a broader basis. As we launched ETI CDC, we asked the Energy Transitions Commission, a global coalition of leading executives from across the energy landscape, chaired by Lord Adele Kana, to analyze what would happen if the ETC's approach to explore pathway, which is becoming one of the international standards, were applied to Japan. But with this analysis, as one of the materials for discussion, we will discuss items that have been summarized in attachment in order to identify the optimal pathway for Japan. We strongly hope that this platform stimulates broader discussion of energy transition in Japan and that the government, the private sector, academia, and the public collaborate towards the carbon neutrality in 2050. Unquote. Now, let me introduce the engagement partners joining this initiative by alphabetic order. Noriyuki Inoue, Daikin Industries Limited, Takeshi Uchiyamada, Toyota Motor Corporation, Satoshi Onoda, Jera Company Incorporated, Hironori Kamezawa, Mitsubishi UFJ Financial Group Incorporated, Takeshi Kunibe, Sumitomo Mitsui Financial Group Incorporated, Yoshimitsu Kobayashi, Tokyo Electric Power Company Holdings Incorporated, Masakazu Tokura, Sumitomo Chemical Company Limited, Toshiaki Higashihara, Hitachi Limited, Yoshinori Hirai, AGC Incorporated, Masashi Fujii, Mitsubishi Gas Chemical Company Incorporated, Juichi Miyakawa, SoftBank Corporation, Tatsuo Yasunawa, Mitsui and Company Limited, Masayuki Waga, Mitsubishi Chemical Corporation. Then, from member of the University of Tokyo, Teruo Fuji, present, Makoto Gonokami, former president, Naoko Ishi, executive vice president, director, center for global commerce. So, with pride, I formally announce the launch of this platform, ETICGC, with certain engagement partners with a common passion to draw the optimal net zero pathway for Japan, and by doing so, to contribute to solving the global challenge of the climate change. Now, let me invite a few speakers to mark today's launch. Let me start with Professor Teruo Fuji, President of University of Tokyo. Well, uh, thank you so much for the introduction. I'm Teruo Fuji, uh, President of the University of Tokyo. It is my great pleasure for me, uh, it is my great pleasure to take part uh, from here in Tokyo uh, in the launch of ETICGC. Uh, 
uh, in Glasgow, and where a truly historic moment uh, for confronting climate change in taking, is taking place now. And the climate crisis requires us to address many issues. In fact, some of uh, the key issues include uh, how to keep the global temperature rise below 1.5 degrees Celsius by reducing greenhouse gas emissions and collaboration between the uh, global north and south and realizing transformation while safeguarding biodiversity and other aspects of our ecosystem. The ETICGC will allow us to tackle many of these very significant issues. The University of Tokyo is working closely with Japan's business leaders to chart our country's pathway to net zero and provide the world with new solutions for the global commons. About a month ago, as newly inaugurated president, uh, myself, I, I announced a statement of the guiding principles of the University of Tokyo, uh, which is called Utokyo Compass. And as it shows the direction and aspiration of our university during my tenure and beyond, it comprises policy initiatives uh, to integrate three perspectives essential to the university. And that are, those are knowledge, people, and place. And the University of Tokyo will contribute uh, to ETI CGC by sharing our knowledge and people sustained by our standing as a place of leading research and education in Japan and East Asia. The university will offer perspectives that effectively complement those of the business sector. And this will enable a cutting edge approach to our industry academia partnership. In the Utokyo Compass, ETI CGC is defined as a place to solve global challenges. And such a place is enabled only through a constructive cycle of dialogue that opens ways to find new solutions for complex global challenges. These challenges are not limited to specific energy related problems. They also include broader and more fundamental issues such as transforming our industrial uh, structure, our social and economic systems and our culture in general. These are challenges that we need to confront to maintain global commons. The path to confronting these challenges might seem like sailing out onto a rough sea without a nautical chart. But I am confident that ETI CGC will make it possible to find ways to overcome these difficulties by allowing us to engage in meaningful communication and to, and build, and to build trust with each other. We must make this voyage of ours into the rough sea a role model for successful international interdisciplinary dialogue so that together we can solve the grave global crisis that we face today. Thank you so much uh, for your attention. Thank you so much, President uh, Fuji. I'd like to pass the mask to uh, Rod Nicolas Stan, who is a prominent e economist who wrote that the Nastan report in 2006, but now these days have a lot of um, uh, inputs to G7 and G20. Thank you, Naoko, for all the work that you've been doing. Thank you to the University of Tokyo, uh, a fine university with which we're closely associated. And also, my enthusiasm and admiration for the work of Adair Turner and the uh, Energy Transition Commission. They've been absolutely pioneering in showing what's possible. I believe that this is the growth story of the 21st century, the drive to net zero, full of discovery, innovation,
cost reduction, new ways of doing things, better efficiency, better productivity, cities where you can move and breathe, ecosystems which are robust and fruitful. It's just a much better way. And friends and admirers of Japan surely have to believe that Japan will be enormously creative in showing this way and driving forward. It's very exciting, it's full of advantage, but it needs investment. It needs investment, innovation, and creativity. And investment, innovation, and creativity are what we all associate with Japan. So Adair, uh, as you know, I think your work is tremendously important, and it shows how it can be done, and that's what I'm sure Adair will be introducing right now. Thank you for having me, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nick. Now, I'd like to invite us, Rhoda Del Turner, yes. uh, the, the chair of the uh, uh, ETC. Thank you, Naoko. It's a great pleasure to be here at this launch of ETI CGC. The Energy Transition Commission at a global level has now been working for six years, charting the way whereby all countries can get to net zero. And we believe that the target should be for all rich developed economies, get to net zero by 2050, developing by 2060. And it was therefore incredibly important for the world when Japan, through Prime Minister Suga, committed uh, last autumn that Japan would get to net zero by 2050. Uh, because it is so important that Japan, which is such a source of technological innovation, technological capability, is fully committed not only to reducing emissions within Japan, but also providing its investments, its expertise, its technology to solve the problems across the world. It is essential that the way forward in Japan is tailored to Japanese circumstances. And that is why I am so pleased to see the launch of ETI CGC led by Japanese uh, business to chart a way specific to Japan. We at the Energy Transition Globally will help in any way we can. We want the engagement. We want to learn from Japan and hopefully provide some ideas as well. But it's a great pleasure to be here at the launch of this ETI uh, uh, CGC initiative. Thank you very much. Thank you, Adele. Now, let us move on to our shipmates. <laughs> and uh, those, and uh, I would like to invite a few uh, from those engaging partners. Uh, may I call on uh, Mr. Masakazu Tokura, uh, chairman of the board of Sumitomo Chemicals. Um, he has been actively leading the chemical sector transformation and has a significant influence over the Japanese business society through his network. Mr. Tokura, please. Uh, Mr. Ishii, uh, thank you very much for your kind introduction. Thank you, Mr. Kamura, uh, Chairman of Sumitomo Chemical. Uh, Japan has been a carbon neutral by 2050. Uh, that is a truly ambitious goal, and it requires literally every one of us to join forces to give it all we have got. As we in the business sector explore a way forward to make it happen, it's encouraging and motivating that this CDC initiative with the Center for Global Commons at the University of Tokyo. There is no doubt that the past to achieving a carbon neutrality by 2050 will be a steep, rocky, and extremely challenging path. To reach this goal, I believe we have three things that we definitely need to address. The first is innovation. Uh, we will be unable to become a carbon neutral by 2050 without technological breakthrough. 
innovation takes time. To create and deploy innovative game-changing solutions early enough, we must start working now, stepping up R&D Expo and uh, aggressively. We also have to be aware that uh, many of the promising technologies that are in, in development cannot be in time to help achieve a 46% emissions reduction by 2030. We have no choice but to make do with uh, existing best available technologies. The second point is the switch to zero emission energy. Japan needs to change both electric power and heating energy to zero emission sources. Options include increasing the use of renewable energy for electric power as much as practical possible, using hydrogen and ammonia for heating energy, becoming Japan's electric power system, and using nuclear energy, among others. Uh, facing the uh, challenge of uh, uh, living in an island country with limited flood plans, we have to find out solutions based on scientific, logical, and uh, quantitative analysis. The uh, third point is the social transformation. We need to make a significant challenge in the society before achieving a carbon neutrality by 2050. Efforts toward this goal are expected to affect each industrial sector in different ways, while also having a substantial impact on the lives of people. Accurate information should be communicated about what we should expect. Even as we have to anticipate something difficult or incomplete. With these points in mind, I am looking forward to us in the business sector and academia, as well as the government and the general public, working together as one to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. And finally, I sincerely hope this ETI CDC initiative will serve as a new platform to promote a wide-ranging discussion about the Japan's energy transition. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you so Thank much, you so much Mr. Tokuya. Mr. Tokuya. I now call, I now on, call on Mr. Toshiyaki, Toshiyaki Higashihara, Higashihara, Executive, Executive Chairman, Chairman and, CEO and CEO of Hitachi. Of Hitachi. Thank you for this opportunity to express my hopes for the Energy Transition Initiative uh, Center for Global Commons, ETICDC. I am Toshiaki Higashihara from Hitachi. Hitachi is participating in the COP26 as a principal partner, hoping to contribute through green and digital technology and as a member of the ETI CDC. I'd like to start by thanking Lord Tuna, members from the University of Tokyo and industry who contribute to the discussion and were instrumental in this today's launch. Today, I'd like to stress three key points. First of all, we need to communicate the urgency in the climate change. We all know that climate change is the most serious issue facing humanity today. That's why we are gathered here, but we need to act now and quickly. 
Secondly, government, industry, academia should mobilize the expertise for climate change countermeasures. The goal of the carbon neutrality by 2050 is a challenge for all of us, industry, academia, and society at large, not just governments, to realize comprehensive transition of society, we need commitment by all stakeholders and wisdom of humanity. The third point is that each region faces different societal or uh, natural constraints. Each country's situation is different, so each region will need to customize their roadmap to carbon neutrality. We need to break down the issue by region, know what the options are, draw roadmap by region, and then strengthen effort to implement specific measures. At the same time, I believe we need to think beyond the 2050 the discussion need to progress from carbon neutrality to zero pollution and a circular economy and how to create lively, equitable, sustainable society that ensure the well-being of the, its citizens. It is my great hope for ETICDC will develop as a platform to lead such activity. Itachi, look forward to working with part participants of COP26 through ETICDC activities. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Higashihara. We are now approaching towards the end of the launch ceremony, sitting in Glasgow in the middle of the fight against climate change. I am very confident that with this initiative launched today, we will play a significant part of this journey together. I greatly appreciate your courage, leadership, and commitment. Let's make our future bright together. Bon voyage. Thank you so much.